Hi everyone, uh, thanks for coming along. What I'm going to be doing today is taking you through a circuit class. Um, the idea is just to sort of get your body moving, get your heart rate elevated, hopefully get a bit sweaty and we're going to try and work all the major muscle groups so that you'll hopefully feel you know you, you've got a good workout at the end of it. Um, you don't need anything to do other than just comfortable clothes, probably a pair of trainers, leggings, whatever makes you comfortable, a wee bit of space and I would suggest having a bottle of water as well so if you're getting thirsty or tired you can have a glug. It's going to be a circuit session, what I'm going to do is take you through a warm up first of all just to get the body moving and get your sort of brain ready to move and warm up the muscles that we're going to be working, a few stretches. And then I'm going to do nine different exercises throughout the circuit. The first time around I will explain each one, then we'll do each exercise together for 50 seconds and then the next two sets, we're going to do three sets in total, we'll just do them continuously. You don't really need to remember any of this because I will talk you through it all of it as we go and at the end we'll have a couple of cool down stretches. So we'll get started just now if everyone's good for that. What I'm going to do is I've got my phone for a timer, apologies in advance if it makes any kind of annoying sounds, that's just to keep me right. Ignore anything you might hear, just listen to me in terms of timings and I'll tell you when to start and stop. So we will start with a warm up and I'm going to stand a wee bit further back just so that you can hopefully see me and still hear me okay. So what to do just now, if it's all stands and I'm comfortable, I'm going to start two minutes, we're going to just start a nice sort of a stride, walking on the spot, quite energetic, a bit of a nice march, we're going to just do this for two minutes. So we're gradually getting our heart elevated, our, our heart rate elevated and a bit warmed up. It's also really good to do some walking because it's just it's helping um, open up sort of the knees and the hips and just get everything kind of ready to do a little bit more exercise as we go. So keep doing that, swing your arms as well just to get a nice rhythm. And what we'll do is we'll add in a couple of shoulder circles just to make some kind of open up our arms. So what to do is put your arms nice and straight and just do a big circle. We'll do five one way and then five and backwards. One, two, three, four, five, and then change another five the other way. One, two, three, four. Five. We've done just over a minute, but we're going to just keep going until we've done a nice two minutes. That's a reasonable time just to kind of get the brain engaged that we are doing a bit of movement now. This is quite a nice way just to get moving as well if we've been sat down in front of a computer as if we should what's it as well have been. And just the last 15 seconds, 10 seconds or so. Perfect. And now it's a slight change. What I'm going to ask you to do is take a high step with one leg and at the same time swing your arm across your body with the other. So we'll do left leg up, right arm across and opposite like that. And we're going to do that for a minute. That's just kind of making our legs work a little bit harder than they were before. And it's also getting a nice sort of movement across our core. Apologies for my phone there. So high knee lift and the opposite arm swings across the body. Perfect. So, um, hopefully that's given us, us a little bit of a warm up and you can feel your heart beating a bit faster than it was before. We're going to do a few dynamic stretches. 
This just starts to engage some of the, the muscles that we're going to be working. The first one is a squat to overhead swing. So you stand, start off with your feet in a sort of um, toes pointing forward, feet roughly hip width apart, and you take a nice squat just sideways, so round about here. If you can get down so that the, the tops of your legs are parallel to the floor, that's great. Squat down, and then when you come up, swing your arms to one side. And that's giving a nice stretch down the side. And we'll do 10, so alternate so that each side gets 10 swings. So that's one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Now there's a stretch for our pec muscles, which we're going to be working a little bit later on. This is a really nice stretch as well. So still standing nice and straight up. Open your arms out to the sides so your palms are facing forward. Nice stretch out arms. Pull your arms a little bit back as if you're sort of trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together and then swing your arms forward. And as you do that, it's okay for your shoulders just to round a little bit. Also gives a nice movement in the shoulders. So 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The last stretch we're going to do before we get started in our circuits are side bends. So it's still staying in the position, your feet are about hip width, they're about apart. Stand it so you've got your, your, each of your hands on the sides of your legs and we just slide. Go down to one side and let your hands slide down towards our knees, up and then to the other side. It's nice and gentle, you'll just feel in your sides and your core. Try to make sure that you're just going to the side. You're not sort of going forwards or backwards. Nice gentle movement to each side. Take that as number two. And do ten on each side. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine and ten. Perfect. Now I'm going to just adjust my watch for the 50 seconds. So bear with me just a second. <clears throat> We're going to get started in the first section of the circuits. What I'm going to do for each of these ones, each of these nine exercises, I'll give you a brief explanation and then I'll say go and join in. We're going to do them each for 50 seconds. So to explain the very first exercise is a squat, which you may very well know. You stand with your feet round about hip width apart, knees and toes and everything pointing nice forward. Make sure that your knees are sort of pointing forward or slightly out rather than bending them in. And just sit down as if there's an imaginary chair. As low as you can comfortably go. If you can get all the way down like this, great. If you struggle, just do what's comfortable. A really important thing though is when you get up, slightly tilt your pelvis and really squeeze your buttocks. Otherwise, if you've got reasonably strong legs, you can kind of do this all day and not do very much. Whereas if you take your time, squeeze and tilt, you will really feel it in your buttocks and it helps engage the muscles. So if you're ready to start, Let's go now for 50 seconds. Squats. Squats work all the major muscles in your lower body. So they are really good. And also, they get your heart rate up. So do as many as you can comfortably do. Each time, tilt the pelvis up and really squeeze. It makes all the difference. The arm movement isn't as important, it's really just whatever you're comfortable with. So 
Just a few seconds left of your squats. Perfect. The next exercise is press ups. There's lots of variations. Again, I'll just show roughly. Apologies, I'll move this so you can hopefully see me a little bit better. What I would suggest probably in the first instance is you get down so that you're kneeling basically. Um, so you're sort of almost creating a table. So your knees and your hands are on the floor and your hands are round about sort of shoulder width apart. Hands nice and splayed to give you a really nice position. And then you're just bending your elbows to take the weight to go down and then up again. When you're doing that, you're trying to make sure that you've got a nice straight line from your knees through your buttocks up to your shoulders so you're not sort of leaning forward or pushing your bottom back. If you wish, you can do a full press up, which then is just keeping your feet up like this and then again the same position. If you're doing that, it's really important just to try and keep your core engaged, keep breathing, just keep your tummy tight so you're not putting any weight on your back. And we'll do 50 seconds of press ups. Starting now. So the full press up. Down and up. Always keep breathing. And give yourself a nice solid base by keeping your fingers wide apart. And putting weight on the sort of the, the palm of your hands or down on your knees. You can make it more challenging by having your hands closer to your shoulders. It's slightly easier, easier if your hands are further apart. So whoever's most comfortable. Next exercise, we're going to stand back up and we're going to do lunges. I'll do it side on just so you can see. Start off with your feet, again hip width apart, everything pointing forwards. Take a big stride with one foot, land on the heel, let your back leg bend so that your knees are nice and low, and then push strongly off the front heel. Back and alternate. And we'll do 50 seconds of lunges starting from now. Big strides, push off the front heel. Change legs, push off the front heel. This can be quite challenging as well, it does work your balance. Remember to try and make sure that your back knee goes down quite a bit as well. And also make sure that you're taking a sufficient step that in your front leg, the knee doesn't go beyond the toes because that can start to put pressure on your knees. We're nearly done. Excellent, that's our lunges. The next one doesn't need maybe a massive amount of explanation. A high knee sprint. I'm not going to lengthen for this, but it's really good for getting your heart rate up. So we're just going to start this. Right, it'll be 50 seconds on the spot. Just trying to get your knees nice and high. I'll try and not knock my house down here. Take your knees down just to jog or even just sort of move gently like this, but just really try and keep moving for the 50 seconds to get your heart rate up. Just five more seconds. This is hopefully getting everyone nicely out of breath and warm. Perfect. The next one is a bit of a crossover. We're going back down. This is a plank to a downward dog. So we start off on the floor and the plank position is similar to a press up position. 
Your toes sit together. Your hands are under your shoulders. Straight arms. And then you're just trying to create a straight line from your heels through to your buttocks and to your shoulders. Don't stick the bottom out and also don't bend forward. If you focus on sort of clenching your abdominal muscles, that should keep you nice and um, strong. From there, what we do is we just push our bottom up and back into a downward dog. And just gradually, over the 50 seconds, we're going to go plank, downward dog, plank, downward dog. So we're working our abs and we're also working our shoulders because we're placing weight on the shoulders. So 50 seconds. Let's go. Hands under the shoulders. Again, nicely played fingers gives you a good strong position. It may well be, you know, if you're comfortable staying in the plank, that's great because the plank can be quite challenging in itself. And just really focus on keeping as straight a line as possible. When you get tired, the tendencies for the bottom to stick out or the body to drip as straight as possible. And if you're able to, push back to the downward dog. The feet position and the hand position isn't moving at all. It's just the bottom. Excellent. Now we're going to do what's called a hip hinge. I'm going to show you this first of all. This doesn't look like we're doing a huge amount. The actual movement of the hip hinge, I'm keep my hands out of the way, is this, which may look a little bit strange. What I'm not doing is just bending over using my head. This is all on the bottom. So what to do, if you can imagine, stand nice and straight, Again, your feet pointing forwards, hip width apart. Imagine you don't have a free hand, you're trying to close a car door behind you and it's quite high up. So all you're doing, the whole movement comes from pushing your bottom back and up. It should almost start to push on your tiptoes if the whole movement is from your bottom. You're not intentionally moving your upper body. And when you start to do that, when you do it, you should actually feel a nice stretch across the glutes or the bottom muscles. This is really good if you're, in, if you're wanting to sort of more advanced work, but it's also just really good as a sort of a good postural exercise. So for 50 seconds, we're gonna do the hip hinge, starting from now. So push your bottom back and slightly up, and then straighten up. Push back and up. And I can feel it stretching all down the back of my legs and the other muscles that we're trying to engage. The upper body will naturally move forward and if you can get down so your upper body is roughly parallel to the floor, that's great. And back, up, and back. Just a few more seconds of this. And last one. Perfect. Next one is an abdominal exercise. I'm going to show you in this just so you get a better view. But we're basically, we're going to start lying down on the floor. Lie straight on the floor. Lift your legs so they're 90 degrees from the floor. And then the movement involves you lowering your legs till they almost touch the floor and then back up. Almost touch the floor and then back up. So we're going to do 50 seconds of that starting now. So down here. The tendency in doing ab exercises can be that you start placing a bit of weight in your back. If you imagine sort of tilting your pelvis up that means that your back's nice and flat on the ground. Either that or imagine you're pushing your belly button into the ground as you're moving. And again, keep breathing as much as you can. Another 15 seconds of that. 
legs together, almost to the floor and up. And your arms should just be nice and comfortable at the sides of your body. Excellent. And we're back up on our feet again. We're going to do burpees. There's loads of variations of burpees. The one I'm suggesting we do today is kind of the, one of the, the most straightforward ones. Stand in a standing position. Lean down. Put your hands in front of your feet. Jump your feet back. Jump your feet in. Stand up and jump. So down, out, back in, jump. And let's go now. This always gets the heart rate up really nice and high. Jump as many as you can. Jump. If you're finding this really challenging, what you could do is do the kick out here and then just stand up. That could be one way of just cutting out a bit of the full and cardio. A few more seconds left. And that's the first set of burpees. The last exercise for the first circuit, this is a balance exercise. It's called the arabesque. Now, what we do is we start balancing on one foot. I'll talk you through all this and then you can decide what variation to do. Start balancing on one foot. The, the, that leg's nice and straight. If we can hold that balance, we gradually tilt forward, kicking our leg out to the back and pushing our arms forward. If we can do that, <laughs> which is challenging, we then just move back to the standing position. If possible, keep that foot upright and then we're going to repeat that for 50 seconds. So let's try. One leg, nice and straight and solid. Try to balance on that leg. Bend forward, kick the other leg back and straighten out the arms and up. We'll just stay in the one leg for this one session. If that's really difficult, because balance can be hard, even practicing balancing on one leg is really valuable. For any balancing work, I would always say, Two key things. One is again, engage your abs. Imagine you're sort of clenching your abdominal muscles because that really tightens the core, which helps. And if you can find a spot, a stationary spot on the floor or in the window, that can also help to give you focus and then as much as you can. That is fantastic. That is the first bit of our circuit's done. So if you haven't already, take a little minute to catch your breath. Grab some water, which I definitely need to do. Hopefully, you feel nice and warm and <laughs> you've done some work so far. We're going to do another two sets. With each of the next two sets, it's just going to be constant. So I'll explain as I go, but we're going to do the same order of the exercise we've done. And I'll just be saying go and we'll join in. We'll do nine exercises, have a break, and then do the last set of nine. So if we're ready, another wee shake off, just to make sure we're ready for the next set. And squats is the first exercise, so if we get ready in position, feet forward, legs about hip width apart, and we're going to do 50 seconds of squats. Now, down and up. Always remembering, if in doubt, Point the knees out a little bit so they're not starting to track in the way. And at the top, tilt your pelvis up and squeeze. It makes a big, big difference. Good. 
and squeeze. Just a few more seconds of this and then we're going straight into our press-ups. Perfect, and onto the floor for our press-ups. Whatever position is most comfortable, whether it's on your knees, arms roughly in length or shoulders, strong hands, and down, and nice strong push back up, or fully upright, and slightly you can play about with the position of your hands, see what's most comfortable. Ten more seconds left. Excellent. And now stand back up, straight into lunges. Big stride, push back from the front heel. The front knee doesn't go forward at the toe and the back leg gets in his veins. And if you're wondering if the sort of down, up, down, up is deliberate, it is. <laughs> I don't want anyone getting too comfortable doing any exercises on the floor. Also just means we have to kind of keep paying attention, concentrating. Good news is, the last few seconds of lunges, the bad news is, we're going straight into our high knee stints. And go! High and as fast as you can run. I'm going to open this door. Just over 10 more seconds, you can hang on in there. Three, two, one. And we're back down to plank. We're doing a plank to a downward dog. So hands under our shoulders, arms nice and straight. Create as strong a line as possible from our heels, our buttocks and our shoulders and if we can then push back your bottom into a downward dog. Keep the abs nicely engaged at all times, that means you're getting the correct posture, you're also working your abdominal muscles and the movement also just means we're engaging our shoulders. Perfect. Now we're straight into the hip hinge, which is odd looking one, but hopefully we'll start to feel it work. So again, standing upright, and all we're doing is moving our bottom back and up. Back and up. Fifteen more seconds of this exercise. Try and make sure that all the movement comes from pushing your bottom. Don't think about your upper body. Perfect. Back onto the floor for double leg lowers. So a nice comfortable position on the floor. Back as flat into the floor as possible. Hands comfortable at the sides. Legs at 90 degrees, 
lower your feet almost touch the floor and back up and we'll just repeat that Remember, if in doubt, if you feel that it's getting into your back, tilt the pelvis when you're on the floor. Readjust yourself to tilt your pelvis slightly up, and that means that your back should be nice and flat against the floor. Perfect. I'm straight into burpees. Stand in position, lean down, kick back, kick out, and jump. And we're doing 50 seconds of burpees. Back, up, jump. Remember, one variation is to draw the jump at the top. Do this. Stand up. Okay. Stand up. A few more seconds. Excellent. Now we're straight into our balancing position. Whichever leg you tried with the last round, switch over. Get as nice a balance as you can. Find a spot to focus on. Gauge your tummy muscles. And if you can, Tilt forward, stretch your leg back and your arms forward, and then come back. And repeat that as often Okay, to stand and just focus on your balance. Delegate your core and find a spot to focus on. I struggle with this one. That's why I keep practicing it. Fantastic. That is the second session of the circuits. So again, we're going to have about a minute or so break. Shake any limbs off that need shaked. Have a glass, glug of water. We'll catch your breath a little bit and then we're going to do it one final time. I'm definitely feeling this very warm, slightly out of breath. So I hope anyone that's joining in feels the same. Take another minute. Bit of a shake. This is going to be the last of our circuits. Same as before, 50 seconds of each exercise, right the way through. I'll explain each one as we go. And the first one is squats. So we're going to start them now. Make them nice and strong. We don't need to hold back any energy for a final set. This is it. So this is the last time to really remember each squat. Don't cheat by just coming up. Really tilt your pelvis and squeeze for all your worth. And you'll feel that uh, both more difficult and it also I think makes you feel a bit stronger when you know you've really Engage the muscles. Always remembering these muscles roll inwards. If anything, tilt your toes to the pointing slightly out of the way. Five more seconds. Perfect. Straight on to press ups. Back down to the floor, whatever position you're comfortable with. And 50 seconds of press ups. Slow to the floor as you can comfortably get and control back up. If you feel any pressure at all on your back, make sure you're resting on your knees. And then you can build up to a full press up gradually. 
and always tell engaging perhaps. Excellent. And back up for lunges. Strong strides forward. Push back from that front heel. Push back. Remembering the back knee was nice and low to the ground. Push back. All the power is from the front leg. And we're alternating legs. Five more seconds and then we're straight into our final sprints. Right, and go, high knee sprints. Do a lower jog or a slower jog, but just try to keep moving. Really keep your heart rate nice and high. Perfect. Back down to our plank. So, similar position to our press ups. Hands underneath our shoulders. Push your knees up. So, we're creating a nice straight line across the whole body and then try and just use your bottom to push back to the rear dog. This exercise might let you catch your breath a little. Just keep focused on engaging your ab muscles. Just a few more seconds. Perfect. The hip hinge. Nice strong standing position to start. Upper body, we're not thinking about that at all. Push your bottom back. You're closing that car door, but you've got hands full of shopping, so you can't use your hands. And up. Close a car door that's just behind you. And up. If you're really focused on doing that and also start trying to point upwards, you should feel the whole stretch down the backs of your legs. And see, so it does it almost pushes you onto tiptoes because those muscles are getting lengthened. A couple more seconds of this one. And then back to the floor for our abs. So lie down, make sure our back is as flat to the floor as possible, hands nice and comfortable at the sides, legs together, gradually lower our legs almost to the ground and back up. And do remember to keep breathing. It's very easy from doing abdominal exercises to hold your breath. That's it, our work done. We're straight on to burpees. So standing position down, get back. My glasses were similar up there. Should I have to move back and jump? If you're 
if you want to practice this work a few times, what you can start doing is counting how many burpees you can do it, and then it can be a sign of progression when you find out you can do more within 50 seconds. Excellent. And our last balancing exercise. Choose whatever leg you're most comfortable with. Try and get your balance. Strong leg, abs engaged. Find a stationary point somewhere. And either hold that or if possible, tilt forward. Stretch forward with your arms and back with your legs. Bring it back. Side on view. And that means circuits. In terms of raising our heart rate are done. So take a wee minute, get your breath again, grab some water, I would recommend. Take a little bit of second again, just shake off any muscles. I would say standing up, just so nothing seizes up. Just a gentle walk for a wee second, and then we're going to do a few stretches. <clears throat> the aim of that workout there was really to get us out of breath, which I know I've achieved myself, raise your heart rate, but to try and work all the major sort of muscle groups. So we've done a bit of shoulders, a bit of arms, chest, abs, bottom and legs. We did quite a lot of leg work, obviously from the squatting and the lunging and the running. Um, I think they're good any time, but I think particularly if we're all spending a lot of time at computers and what have you, it's really good to do that, but it also means we need a good stretch. So we're going to start off with a hamstring stretch. What we'll do is I'll stand to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Start off with your feet about hip width apart, hands on your hips, take one leg forward, just a little bit, it's not a massive stride, and then sort of sit back. So the front leg is straight, the back leg is bent, and you can put your hands on the back leg. This is what it looks like from the forward position. And if you sit back and again push your bottom back and up, you should feel that in the back straight leg. And we'll hold that for about 15 seconds. Excellent, and then come up, a little bit of a shake, and then switch legs. So we'll take one leg back, sit back down, so the back leg is bent, the front leg is straight, put your hand on the bent leg, just so we're not putting any pressure on the stretched leg, and push your bottom sort of back and up. You should now feel it from here. And again, about 15 seconds. Excellent. That was the hamstrings, one of the major muscles. We also want to stretch our quads, which is the other major muscle group in our legs. For this one, grab a hold of something if you need to. Otherwise, what to do is we're basically we're taking one foot, we're swinging it up, so we're trying to kick our bottom with our heel. We then get in this position, bring our knees together, and then slightly push your pelvis forward, and you should then feel a stretch here and the, the bent leg and the quadricep and again we're going to hold that for 15 seconds perfect and then we'll switch legs so again imagine you're kicking your bottom 
bottom with one of your feet. Then make sure your knees are aligned and tilt your pelvis forward. This is where we look from sides on of you. You should feel that along the, the, the front of her bent leg, holding that for around 15 seconds. And then release that. Now we're going to do a bit of a stretch for the pecs, which are chest muscles, which we were working predominantly when we were doing our press ups. So, nice and strong position. We'll open our arms as we had done earlier, but now all we do is we just open them up and squeeze your shoulder blades. Imagine you're squeezing your shoulder blades apart, because as you contract your shoulder blades, you're opening up your chest. And just focus on taking a few deep breaths as well. A really nice stretch. <clears throat> Fantastic. The last stretch we're going to do is our triceps. We were working our triceps a bit just by holding ourselves in position with some of the exercises. What to do, pick our right arm hand, stretch it up, try to make sure you can see me enough, then swing it back so that your hand is placed on your shoulder blades and then use your left hand to pull your elbow across. We'll get a bit closer so hopefully you can see that position. And again, we're going to hold that for about 15 seconds. So this is the back position. And hopefully you'll feel a really nice stretch on your upper right arm. And release and give that a shake. And now stretch your left arm up. Hand onto the back of your shoulder blades. Grab the left elbow with your right hand. And just pull it in a little bit. This is what it looks like from the front. And that's what it looks like from the back. And this time we should be feeling a nice stretch on our left up and arm. And then release. And have a bit of a shake. So that is our circuit session complete. What I would say, you know, depending on how you feel, if you're still feeling your heart rate's quite elevated, quite out of breath, don't necessarily just crawl on the sofa. Maybe have a bit of a pace, keep standing up, give your limbs a bit of a shake, drink some water, keep doing that until you're nicely cooled down, feeling like you're back to normal, um, and hopefully you feel that you've had a good workout. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.